A wall has just been noticed arching beyond the southern boundary of the sky. And it's a behemoth, covering a vast 1.37 billion light years as of end to end. Its founders have called it the South Pole Wall. Hey guys, welcome back to our video, where today we'll be talking about a huge wall discovered in space by a NASA pro. Make sure you stick till the end and subscribe to the channel to be part of our great community. Let's hop into the video. The universe is not only made up of random galaxies peppered throughout an intensifying space. It's more than that. The closer we examine it, the more we discover that there are vast groupings and assembled galaxies that are gravitationally linked all together. The structure that's been noticed is remarkable in size. To say that it's one of the largest assemblies in outer space ever witnessed wouldn't be wrong. What exactly is the South Pole Wall? It's a strand of the galaxy. To be more precise, it's a giant creation of galaxies that make the border between the blank areas of the cosmic space and then form the cosmic network. That's why we call it a wall. This wall has been hiding in plain sight, lingering unobserved to date. And the reason behind that is that huge parts of it lie a billion light years away, at the back of the bright Milky Way. This wall is even more monumental than the Sloan Great Wall, which is considered one of the largest structures discovered. The South Pole Wall is similar to an arm draping over the Laniakea supercluster. The wall gets its name from the South Pole of the Earth. The wall is thickest in the direction of the Earth's South Pole. Moreover, these grand structures the astronomers have discovered make a great semicircle covering almost 200 degrees and stretching perfectly into the northern blue. Looking at the intensity of this wall from the South Pole, it stretches nearly 500 million light years away and the extension of the wall from the north is roughly 300 light years away. Astronomers have predicted long ago that these galaxies are not dispersed haphazardly all through the universe. Instead, they are tangled and overlapping in a single composition that's popularly known as the cosmic web. Immense filaments of hydrogen gas create clusters that are looped like gems on a necklace encircling the massive and primarily empty voids of space. Many other walls are also discovered apart from the one we're currently talking about. One is the Hercules, Corona Borealis Great Wall, which travels 9.7 billion light years, which is a colossal figure. But the thing that makes the South Pole Wall unique is that it's insanely close to the Milky Way galaxy. It rests only 500 million light years closer to it. In simpler words, it's the largest structure discovered this much closer to the Milky Way. Why was the South Pole Wall hidden for so many years? This question arises, how could one of the most extraordinary galaxy strands in the cosmos right in our sight go unnoticed? One of the best answers to this is that the South Pole Wall was hidden behind a zone. This zone is known by the name Zone of Avoidance. According to some astronomers, the name of this zone is Zone of Galactic Obstruction and is also known as the Milky Way Galactic Plane. That's why the wall of the South Pole was hidden from the eyes of astronomers for so many years. The zone of avoidance is generally considered the center of our home galaxies. This is a dense and vivid territory that consists of dust, star, and gases. It's so dense and vivid that it conceals a huge part of what's at the back of it. The zone of avoidance is the area of the universe that's poorly explored as compared to those that are well studied. The zone of avoidance was the main reason behind not discovering the South Pole wall earlier. To add to it, the zone of avoidance density is bright and dusty, which explains why it blocked the view of the wall. So how did astronomers find it now? This is another thoughtful question, that if the zone of avoidance had covered this effectively and efficiently, then how could astronomers have discovered it now? The answer to this one is a little bit more complex than the previous one. But fundamentally, it centers on the idea of how galaxies turn all around in the skies. The Great South Pole Wall's breakthrough occurred when Pomeridae and his associates observed that some gigantic structure's gravitational impact was dragging galaxies with it in all directions. A group of investigators, led by cosmographer Daniel Pomeridae from the University of paris Saclay, utilized a database dubbed Cosmic Flows 3. This database includes distance computations to almost 18,000 galaxies. They are believed to make use of redshift, the redshift is used to calculate how quickly something is traveling farther away, centered on how extended out its light rays are. The team's main goal, or you could say the astrophysicist's significant expedition, 
is to picture how the gravitational heaviness of the enormous extent of the web wall impacts the galaxy's movements. It also includes our very own Milky Way. After the research of so many years, it has been explained that the local group, a bunch of galaxies in which our Milky Way is also included, is moving at around 630 kilometers per second, in part because of gravitational pull from huge gauge assemblies, as well as from revulsion from empty areas of space recognized as voids. This and the map of Cosmic Flow 3's documented strange swiftness of galaxies on one side of the shrouded South Pole wall that looks as if slower than anticipated, whilst clusters on the surface that are closer to Earth went a bit quicker than anticipated. In previous years, this database had been used by another team of researchers. They used the database to compute another parameter. This parameter is known by the term particular velocity. This velocity is the velocity of the galaxy that is comparative to its movement due to the enlargement of the universe. With the help of these two parameters, one is the distance computation and the other is the particular velocity, the team could compute the movement of various galaxies as compared to each other. Also, these comparative motions have shown the impact of the gravitation on a much larger mass. The team was capable of using these activities to map in three dimensions the distribution of the material in the South Pole wall. Not only in the wall, but also even ahead of the zone of avoidance. All credit goes to the algorithm that makes this easy to calculate. How big is the wall? According to the studies that astronomers have made, and based upon gravitational attraction, the South Pole wall is acting upon us with a velocity of 40 kilometers a second. Palmerity said that he and the team also would love to know whether there are other, larger walls or not. In other words, they want to know whether there is something else concealed in the zone of avoidance or not. The thickest section of this wall lies upon the south pole of the Earth. This section is the part of the Earth that is nearly 500 million light years away from the Milky Way. This section arcs northern and toward the Earth, approaching within 300 million light years of the Milky Way. Alongside the curving arm, the galaxies are moving toward the clump with that of the South Pole. After that, these galaxies are further moving towards another large structure 650 million light years far away. Some parts of the South Pole wall are still hidden and we cannot see them. So chances are high that this giant structure is even bigger. Well, we can't say anything about that at this point, but we're sure that astronomers will find it real soon since they won't be certain of its size until they get a hold of a more comprehensive edition of cosmic flows in the following years. The South Pole wall may yet be a lot bigger than the present expected dimensions of 1.4 billion light years and 600 million light years deep in simple words. And still, some part is still shrouded inside the zone of avoidance. But to know about it, we'll need a larger map, that's for sure. This discovery also shows filaments of the bigger cosmic embroidery that brace upon our surroundings and reality. Hey, thank you guys for tuning in today. If you liked the video, make sure you support the channel by subscribing and hitting the like button. We'll catch you guys on the next video. So until then, goodbye.